grapefruit, delicious breakfast snack, or cold-blooded citrus murderer. You probably know there are some drugs that you shouldn't take with alcohol. But did you know there are also loads of drugs that you shouldn't take with grapefruit? So, what does it do? Let's think about what happens when you normally take a pill. When you swallow a tablet, it goes down through your stomach and into your small intestine. That's where most drugs get absorbed, and so the concentration of the medication in your blood will start to increase as it slowly gets absorbed through those intestine walls. That means that hopefully it'll exceed this threshold, the so-called therapeutic dose, and that's the level at which the drug can do its good work, be that relieving the pain from your headache, lowering your blood pressure, or even killing cancer cells. The concentration keeps on rising until it's all been absorbed, hopefully getting nowhere near this threshold, the lethal dose. That's when you've taken enough of the drug to kill you. The perfect drug has a nice low therapeutic dose and a very high lethal one, meaning it doesn't take much to make you better, but it does take a lot to do you harm. The next thing that happens is your body notices these weird drug molecules floating around in your system, and it starts to break them down. That's the reason that you can't just take a paracetamol and never feel pain again. It's only a few hours before the liver has broken down most of those paracetamol molecules. It slips below the therapeutic dose and you need to pop another pill to top up the painkilling effect. The problem is that grapefruit is stuffed full of molecules which interfere with the way your body processes drugs. They disrupt enzymes, the chemicals which break down drug molecules, which means the drugs aren't broken down in the way that we expect. So, the three ways that grapefruit can kill you. One allowing too much drug to be absorbed. There are enzymes in your intestinal wall that break down a drug as soon as it starts to be absorbed, and that means that not all of the medication from a tablet is going to make it into your bloodstream. Normally, when a doctor decides on the dose for this drug, they'll take this effect into account, so they'll give you slightly more in the tablet, so this effect doesn't matter. Grapefruit disables these enzymes, which means when you take a drug, you can absorb more of it without it getting broken down, and that can lead to you absorbing a toxic dose. 2. Stopping your body breaking down the drug. When you're taking medication regularly, the dose and the period between doses are determined to make sure that you always stay safely between the therapeutic level and the lethal one. Grapefruit stops the breakdown of the drug in your liver, and that means that over time you can slowly build up to a lethal dose of medicine. 3. Stopping the drug being made in the first place. Okay, this is the strangest one. Because we know that your body has these enzymes to process foreign molecules, sometimes we don't give a drug in its active form. We give it as something called a prodrug, which is a molecule your body can break down into the drug you actually want. When you take codeine, the way that works is that the codeine molecules are broken down by enzymes in your liver to give you morphine, which is a powerful painkiller. Unfortunately, grapefruit blocks the action of those enzymes, which means that if you take codeine with grapefruit, you're not going to get much painkilling effect. This effect could mean that you never make it to the therapeutic level in the first place, which means if you're taking a drug that's keeping you alive, like an anti-cancer drug, then this is the third way that grapefruit could kill you. What's really crazy is we didn't even know about this effect until 1989, and it's not just grapefruit. Other citrus crazy fruit include the Seville orange, often used in marmalade, pomelo, and lime. We now know that these fruit can affect absolutely loads of different drugs. For example, triazolam, midazolam, nitrazepam, diazepam, alprazolam, quazepam, dextroamphetamine, levoamphetamine, methamphetamine, Viagra, might have heard of that one. Warfarin and Zolpidem. And that's not even the complete list. The enzyme blocking effects of grapefruit can last for several days, and there's nothing you can really do. You just have to wait for them to wear off. They also affect different people in very unpredictable ways, which means we can't just compensate by changing the dose of medication. Grapefruit may seem like a benign breakfast, but I think this thing should come with a warning label.